or not to be. That is the question. To be or not to be. That is the question. To be or not to be. That's the question, whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of trouble, and by opposing in them to die to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we and the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished to die to sleep, as sleep perchance to dream, either's the rub, for in the sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause, there's the respect that makes calamity out of long life. To be or not to be, that is the question. To be or not to be, that is the question. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong and proud man's contumely. The pains and surprise of the wall's delay. The insolence of office and the spurns. The patient merit of the worthy takes. When he himself might as quiet as make. With the bare bunkin, who would fardels bear? To grunt and sweat under weary life. But that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born and No, no child returns puzzles the will To be, to be, or not to be, to be That is the question To be, to be, or not to be, to be That is the question and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is to clean o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of grand pitch and moment. With disregard, the current turn arrive and lose the name of action soft you now. The paraphilia and in thy horizon be all my sins remembered.